a viewer uh, reached out to me and asked how to make this drawing and uh, this was of course the tech draw drawing uh, tutorial that we had drawn together and now uh, he was wondering how to make this drawing from a model so let's work backwards and answer that question this drawing is available so if you'd like to download this drawing on FreeCAD you are more than welcome the link is in the description and um, notice I am also monitoring my keystrokes down here so if I hit a key you can see it show up make that always on top and let's get started I'm in the part design workbench I'm going to create a body and a drawing we'll get isometric and I'll choose the XZ plane to sketch on where do I want to put my origin I'll say I'll put my origin dead center on the ring and it will rest right on this ledge right here you can also put it up here and that's a perfectly acceptable way to do it as well so I'm going to create this line which should represent this line over here and I'll create a chamfer and we simply have to read the drawing and apply the dimensions so I'm going to say uh, horizontal dimension and you can look at my keystrokes for shift H when I make that and uh, this ID is 29.46 divided by 2 not dividing by 2 because this goes from one end to the other we're going to the origin which would be in the center of the part uh, we can say A for angle we make that 135 and uh, our fillets are called out down here, or chafers rather, uh, 3 by 1.27 by 45. So I will add in a horizontal dimension. We're going to make that uh, 1.27 millimeters. I think that's something like an eighth of an inch. And uh, we're going to come over here. And also, yeah, that, that's on there good. That's there. So checking our degrees of freedom. Uh, is that line there. So from this ledge up to the top of the part we're at 11.43. So we're at a vertical and we're going from here to here at 11.43. Now our only degree of freedom is the length of this line. We've got another chamfer connected here. We can make these perpendicular and I can add another dimension or, whoop, didn't mean to get out of the sketch though. Or, I can simply select these two lines and E for equal. Now, come down here. Making room for this drawing here. We have this diameter here, 54.86. So let's add that dimension in. Of course, that's quite long, so I'll divide by 2 since I'm referencing off my origin. And what do you know, that affected my chain first, so I'll just control Z twice and try that one more time. 54.86 divided by 2. Much better. Now I uh, only have this degree of freedom here. So let's drag that down. We can see from the top here we're down to that ledge, 6.35. That's about a quarter of an inch. Uh, we do have a radius here. So I'm going to add that uh, fillet in. Uh, Shift R, and we're going to say, and, and for the dimension it's actually listed down here. There's That's a radius because you can see the center point and radius there, and a radius there, and it's all 3, point, 3 by 1.27, right, so 1.27, we can make that horizontal, again, looking down here, I can push the H key, and we can do V over here to make that vertical, creating another ledge, oh, I think I made a very small line there, but it did snap on, that's good, make that horizontal, now this horizontal line appears to extend out until we're given another uh, diameter and that's going to be 66.99 right? So we're going to divide that by 2 and that gives us a nice place to start 
another fillet. We're going to make that vertical. We're going to use E and make that equal. Here we go, tangent. We want to add a degree angle with the A key. We'll make that well, not 50, but rather 20 degrees. Checking our degrees of freedom. Yeah, it looks like we need a height there, so shift V, we have enough to add the 6.35, which comes out to about quarter inch. This is the only degree of freedom we have now. So adding in this fillet and making it tangent. And horizontal. And we can add in a little vertical line there too. So the overall part diameter is given down here, 101.6. And that's quite a large fillet, so we'll calm it down with the E key. And now I think that's our only degree of freedom there. So, uh, if we look at the overall part height, 19.05 from that face to the top. And we're temporarily fully constrained, love seeing a green sketch. Uh, but of course I forgot to add in a chamfer, so let's do that. Adding in my chamfer, I can make this perpendicular to the last chamfer, and equal since we had the 3x notation on the drawing. We'll add in the vertical now, 19.05. Again, nice to see a green sketch. I don't know, that did not merge right, so we'll manually merge them here. And now this extends all the way to this leader line, which tells us 88.9. So we're going to add in a horizontal 88.9 dimension. Of course, I need to divide by 2. I can polyline a little bit. You can see that these are assumed to be linear. So we'll grab these, horizontal, and I can grab this outer groove is 88.9, which we've added. The inner groove is going to be 2 of course. Now the depth of the groove is going to be 4.45 and that's our only degree of freedom, the length of that line, which comes out to 53.59 diameter. Fully constrained again, we'll grab another polyline and I'll sketch out this tongue right here. Make that vertical. So there's 53.59, it comes to a diameter of 44.7. There we go. Now, this uh, overall height of the tongue relative to the top face is 23.49. All right, so this line should be our only degree of freedom, and we know that it's gonna be horizontal here. 
So where does this end up? This line goes all the way to the 32 inner diameter. There. Now it comes up for the shelf. We know that it's going to be horizontal. And we complete that shelf. So now we have an enclosed sketch, right? It's, uh, it's got a boundary all the way around. There's no gaps. So we're going to say uh, on the part design, I guess we can close the sketch, tasks. We'll choose revolve or revolution. And notice it already picks up. We want to revolve around the Z axis of the vertical sketch. And that is the ring that we drew. Hope this video was helpful. And if it was, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.